The subject of today's video is the horn, which isn't working, and so we need to get that fixed. Not working. And uh, the reason is probably because of a brush that, so that you can turn the steering wheel without uh, breaking the connection. There's a circular thing and a brush that runs on it that, that takes the switch up here, sends it to a wire, it comes down through the steering column, comes out here, and would have originally connected to this wire, which is just dangling now. Now there's 12 volts on this wire, I've tested it. It comes from the horn relay and it's still working. The horn relay and the wiring is still working. So basically what I need to do to fix this is send a new, put a new wire on there and connect it to this new horn switch that, I've, that I'm going to install here. And so when you push that button, it'll ground that wire, that'll activate the relay, and the horn will go. So let me show you the parts up front. So originally this vehicle would have had two horns. One right here, which is gone. And the other one here, which is also gone, but I have bought two new ones and I've started installing them. Here's one of the new ones. And they'll put another one on the other side. And then here's that horn relay we were just talking about. And the wires come in from the, that wire we saw under the dashboard comes in here. There's 12 volts coming into this relay. One, one direction goes out to that switch, which activates the relay. And then the other wire, when you activate the relay, gets electricity and it comes to here. And it connects to this wire right here. And I connect that to the horn, and then when we uh, push the button, the relay will be activated and the horn will go. So that's our job for today. So the first step here is to uh, remove the instrument cluster so that we can access behind, uh, because I need to feed some wires from where the switch is going to go down to where the horn wire from the relay is and the... Um, fuse block. You can see I got a little grasper that I use for that. It makes that a lot easier to, because you can reach back in a space smaller than your hands. So uh, now I'm uh, connecting the horn wire from the switch to the horn wire from the horn relay and uh, soldering that up and heat shrinking it. And then there's a second wire that gets hooked up to the fuse panel, which Really, it just powers the light, that the little horn light, the LED. I'm hooking that up right now. And a couple of zip ties, and we're done down there. Next, we need to feed a new ground wire that's going to go from the switch to... Uh, basically, it's just going to get screwed right into the firewall with a sheet metal screw, and that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, what we'll end up with is three wires coming out of the hole where the new switch is going to go. Right there. Click them off to length. And then uh, we're a couple of zip ties. And now we're, now we're uh, going to strip and connect the wires for the switch to the wires that I just installed that go behind there. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm stripping everything. Twisting the new wires on. And soldering them. Final step is to install some heat shrink tubing around it. You'll see I'll get the little torch out and we're going to shrink the heat shrink tubing on. That makes them watertight. So these won't um, corrode or be susceptible to water. And uh, next thing after that, so everything's hooked up now, we're going to run a few final tests to make sure the wiring is correct, that the voltage is where it's supposed to be and ground is working. All the tests are okay, so I'm going to put the switch back on and go up to the front of the vehicle, hook up the battery, and actually work the horn and make sure the light's working. That's what I'm doing now is going back and forth and testing things. So I've gone and disconnected the battery and we're getting ready to do the final install. So I've marked the three um, 
wires with pieces of tape, pushed them back through the hole so I can install the, the locking nut from behind, and feed them back up through the hole for the final installation. I don't know why, but this is always tricky. Took a couple tries to get it to come through the way I wanted it to. Now I've installed the switch and I'm tightening the backing nut to lock it in place. Hook up the battery, give it a quick test, make sure everything's working. Yep, it's working. Now I can go ahead and button up the instrument cluster and we're done inside. So the last step here is to install that second horn on the driver's side that I showed you was missing earlier. So right now I'm making a new ground wire which is uh, crimped like that and then soldered to make sure it never gets any corrosion inside of it. And then I can go ahead and install it in the vehicle along with the horn. All right, we're all done. Everything's working. I'll give you a quick little test so you can see. I've uh, rigged up the light on the horn switch so it goes on with the ignition. And there's the horn.